Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How how are we all doing this morning? I hope we are doing fair, well and fine. <laughs> okay, so I would like us to confirm that we are good to go this morning. So if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, kindly type in hi in the comment section so that we can get this started so i would like to see some feedbacks in the comment section so that we can um, trigger our live session for today so what do we have here in the comment section all right i can see 276 good morning thank you 3050 good morning to you three nine four one two six zero three one thank you very much everyone um nine five nine amirazin majidol okay thank you uh Ryle sylvia i see you i see you sergio x hey carrie good morning thank you for that confirmation i see you too all right i will be taking this as a beautiful confirmation that we are good to go this morning so um welcome i'm pleased to welcome you all to another promising session on the x trend speed and my name is sheriff dara mola as usual i will be your host for the next one hour where we shall be evaluating the financial markets using technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us today and it's our custom here in the in this community we have a couple of peers that we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week we shall definitely be looking and reviewing these pairs so that we can see how well these pairs are doing and if there are any advices or comments i will be sharing them with you during the course of the live session so you don't want to miss out on these ideas and opportunities that we shall be looking at for today so try as much as possible to stay tuned into the end of the session so that you can be part of all the information we shall be sharing during the course of the session and if you have questions whatsoever it is feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section at any point in time so with that being said here let's dive into the chat right now let's see what is really going on in the market i think we have some couple of macroeconomic events we want to be looking forward to for today so in that regard let's look at the economic calendar and we have two high major events coming up today and that is the canadian dollar well that is not one of the pairs we are monitoring so we shall be focusing our attention on the fed chairman's speech which is coming up in six hours 40 minutes from now and obviously participants in this market will definitely be looking forward to this event and at this point in time we're beginning to see some level of retracement up and up across the usd pairs we shall be looking at this um this setup this development and we shall be definitely looking forward to see how we could take advantage of trading opportunities on these pairs and we also have the pres uh, President Biden speech coming up also. This is also an eye impact event, but this is coming up earlier tomorrow, which would have happened before our live session for tomorrow. So it's important I, I call our attention to this so that we can also plan ahead of this event too as well. So with that being said here, we shall be diving right into the chat and let's see what is really going on in the market right now. So as usual, the first commodity we are going to be looking at this morning is the US oil. And on the US oil, we have a profitable situation running right now on the US oil. And if you remember vividly during the live session yesterday, we were able to identify a flat channel which was situated around the $73.90 level that was yesterday morning we we saw the resistant point here and we had a support level sitting somewhere right around the $73.35 
However, during the later part of the New York session yesterday, I saw the situation that happened. So I had to readjust the resistant point to suit the current structure. And as you can see now, we have we had a a wider channel. So um, I had to shift the resistant level to somewhere around the $74.20 level to fit this current structure. So during the live, so during the New York session yesterday, we at one point in time saw the breakdown of the $73.35 level, which I actually took advantage of. And we had the situation. I hope you moved your stop loss accordingly. As you saw, price action came back into the entry point, taking out all the sell positions there and price action at continued to find higher highs in that regard well i had a breakout retest of the 74 dollar 20 cent level during the later part of the new york session yesterday to trigger this buy position and if you had actually joined at the previous resistant point level here it's okay well done to you guys as you would currently be in profit of at least about um let's see over 200 pips in profit at this point and during the early hours of today i was able to identify another structure around the 75 dollar 50 cent level and the 76 dollar area where i was looking out for buy at the breakout retest of structure which actually has been triggered at this point so for those who have been part of this profitable journey since in the last 24 hours well done to you guys kudos to you for being on standby and some of us would have taken some profit here and for those who are still in the trade my advice right now is that we want to be moving our stop loss accordingly to lock in some profit here we don't want to lose out on whatever we have made so far so i would advise that we move our stop loss to somewhere right around the previous structure which falls around the 75 dollar 20 cent level so for the sake of the session we shall be having our stop loss right around that area let's move our stop loss accordingly lock in some profit around there and let's see how far this move is going to go for today so now that we are preparing for the new york session today what is going to be our plans what are our expectations and do we still have that room to continue to buy to add more position to our buy position or are we going to be getting ready to join a decline to the downside if we are taking into consideration the previous impulse leg that we have here which is very bearish at this point so let's scale up a little bit to the daily time frame let's have a holistic view of what is really going on in this market Market. let's see if the current structure we are in right now um, lines up with the daily time frame so um, this is the daily time frame here and if you remember yesterday we initially take took into consideration this bearish trend line which has been guiding bearish momentum since the beginning since um i think about six seven months now price action has been finding lower lows and lower highs and as a result of this we were able to connect the series of lower highs here which has given us this result on bearish trend line which i told you at the beginning of the week has been guiding bearish momentum however at the beginning of this year i think um a couple of weeks ago i think about three four weeks ago we initially identified this um, reversal pattern right below the 80 dollar level after taking into consideration this impulsive move to the downside price came back to test the 80 dollar level then we saw a higher low which was a, which was a beautiful signal that buyers are likely coming in at this point and you know from a technical standpoint whenever we identify a double bottom structure like this the next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline which we will definitely be using to guide our trading activity and coincidentally the neckline falls and shares a confluence with that $80 level which I said has been a major determinant of price action at least in the last um, three to four months now as you can see um, this level has been a strong selling niche um, since the month of November look at what happened here 
then in the month of december stroke the first day of this year we saw um, how that level continued to hold selling pressure so we were actually anticipating a breakout of the 80 dollar level which shares a beautiful confluence with that bearish trend line that you can see here but one thing that happened here is that price did not move significantly well as expected as you can see here as soon as price got into the 82 dollar 50 cent level we continue to witness selling pressure from that area to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point in the market so every attempt by the buyers to break out of the 82 dollar 50 cent level has been met with strong resistance from the sellers and in fact the rejection of any bullish momentum around the 82 dollar 50 cent level led into a situation where price action was caught within a channel which is between the 82 dollar 50 cent level and the 78 dollar area and uh, during the course of last week trading session and following the um, OPEX plus meeting that held on Tuesday last week we saw our price broke down retail the $78 area to push price further to the downside and at the beginning of this week we saw a situation where price was trading around the $73.50 level a level which has which has a strong memory for buying power as you can see what happened here during the first day of this month of last month i think the, th the third fourth fifth day of last month we saw how that level was holding by pressure and if we go to as far back as the month of december as well we saw buying pressure from that area then in the month of november too as well we saw another buy pressure right above the 73 dollar 50 cent level and one thing i told you yesterday is that we need to be very very careful based on this current structure as we have a beautiful confluence around the 73 dollar 50 cent level which has a tendency of moving price action to either way so i told you that if we see by pressure around the 73 dollar 50 cent level we shall we shall be getting ready to buy and if we have a situation where price breaks down the 73 dollar 50 cent level Level. with selling pressure below that structure it could be an opportunity to join a sell-off in this market and since the beginning of the week we saw a consolidation phase around the 73 dollar 50 cent level which triggered the position that we are currently in on the u.s oil so before we scale down to the lower time frame let's see where price action is hot at this current point in time and if you look left you can see that price action is currently trading right around the 75 dollar 50 cent level and if we look left you can see how this level has been a strong by niche in this market in fact it lasted about three months before we saw the breakdown of that 75 dollar level um, in the month of december and we've had a couple of breaks now of that structure here so for us to be adding more position to our buy trade we want to see price action do an outright breakout of the 75 dollar level climb above this bullish trend line then if we start seeing retest of structure followed by buying pressure above this level on our lower time frame it will be a good opportunity for us to add more position to our existing trade and if you are not yet in this buy position we took advantage of yesterday well breakout of the 75 dollar 50 cent level will be a good opportunity for us to join this potential rally to the upside we don't know how far this potential rally will go if price action breaks out of that structure but we have a couple of structures around the 78 dollar area and the 80 dollar area which we shall be using as a potential tp target if we continue to add more position to our existing buy position on the us oil so in that regard and with the information we already have here as price action is currently trading around the 75 dollar 50 cent level we want to be scaling down to the lower time frame let's see how price action has been reacting to this current structure at least in the last couple of hours to decide what our next line of action will be so if we scale down to the one hour time frame we begin to see things clearly and as a result of the identification of the 75 dollar 50 cent level we shall be taking that into consideration as well as we as we try to understand um what is really happening on the one hour time frame so if i zoom in closely into the current structure here 
uh you can see the 75 dollar 50 cent level here it was broken during the early hours of today and in fact we have a retest of structure which triggered the second position on the us oil and if you had actually missed out on that opportunity we already have another position sitting right around the 76 i think i would have to adjust this one a little further to the 76 dollar 20 cent level which falls around this area here um so that um, hold on a second and the reason why that is simply because of the sell pressure we have noticed here in the last couple of hours now and if we look left we can see how that area also has been a major determinant of price action so i want to see an outright breakout of the 76 dollar 20 cent level for me to be adding more position to the existing trade so let's relabel this so we have it sitting at the 76 dollar 20 cent so for those who had missed out on the opportunities that we had since yesterday now let's wait to see how price action will be reacting to the 76 dollar 20 cent area to decide if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade so we want to be seeing something like a breakout retest on our lower time frame of the $76.20 level to be adding more position to this existing trade. Now with this um, setup being identified here, um, it's important that we also take into consideration this bearish momentum that has gripped this market since the last week of uh, last month and one thing about this structure is that price action has been finding lower lows and lower heights so we are in a bearish momentum at this point and the bullish at bullish position we took advantage of yesterday is looking more like a retracement of that previous impulse leg and to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point we would want to connect the series of lower heights and to do that we'll bring out our line chart so that we can have a specific point of connection and if we connect the series of lower highs here what do we have so we shall definitely be using this trend line as a yardstick for trading activity for today so if i bring back my candle chart do some little readjustment here we have a beautiful trend line that we'll definitely be using to guide trading activity for today and as you can see here since the since last week friday price action has been respecting this trend line to the downside and currently now price action is right ar around the bearish trend line here and at the same time sharing a beautiful confluence with the 76 dollar 20 cent level so at this point in time we cannot ignore the possibility that sellers could actually take over this market from this current structure and if that is going to be happening what are we going to be looking forward to what do we want to be seeing around this area for us to be selling the us oil so if we look at the structure here and take into consideration the 75 dollar 50 cent level which was broken during the early hours of today and we saw a sharp rejection showing some level of buying pressure right above the 75 dollar 50 cent level I am of the opinion that if we are going to be selling the US oil, we want to see price action break down the $75.50 level, respect that bearish trend line one more time, followed by selling pressure below the structure in our lower time frame, giving us a beautiful opportunity to add more position to our existing trade. Now, if a sell momentum happens below the $75.50 level, I want us to take into consideration this bullish trend line, which has been guiding bullish momentum since the beginning of the week. I was able to connect the series of higher lows here to give us this bearish trend line. So one thing about this trend line is that if selling momentum happens, that is, it breaks down the $75 dollar 50 cent level we identified here and continues to drop to the downside as soon as it gets into this trend line here which falls around the 75 dollar level area i want us to be moving our stop loss accordingly to lock in some profit so i would like to identify that structure so for the sake of simplicity when we are about to make our individual decision so we have a beautiful structure here had a 75 dollar level 
so let's label that area for the sake of clarity and as you can see it shares a beautiful confluence with that trend line that has been holding bullish momentum since the beginning of this week so as soon as price gets into that structure you want to be moving your stop loss locking some profit then wait out to see how price action reacts to this level to decide if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade how we might be seeing a situation where price action respects that bullish trend line one more time with buying pressure above that level to incite another wave of bullish momentum so what we are going to be looking forward to around the 75 dollar level um the first one is if price comes here and we start seeing buy pressure around this area on our lower time frame breakout retest of structure will be an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade that is if you are still in the buy position however if price action breaks down the 75 dollar level which i said shares a confluence with that bullish trend line then that is a sign that the trend line is no longer strong enough to hold bullish momentum and then if selling pressure continues below the structure it will be a beautiful opportunity to add more position to our sell trade so that is what will happen if price drops below the 75 dollar 50 cent level but at this point in time we'll continue to hold to our bullish buyers as we look forward to a breakout of the 76 dollar 20 cent level to add more position to our existing trade as you can see the 76 dollar 20 cent level here shares a beautiful confluence with our bearish trend line so we want to see price action take out all the sell position along this trend line to give us another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade here so let's keep both options open um breakout of the 76 dollar 20 cent level welcomes additional buy position and if a breakdown of the 75 dollar 50 cent level we might likely be seeing another wave of bearish momentum from this current structure so that is my view here on the us oil i hope you munch my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you are about to make your individual decision during the new york session today and if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section all right with that being said let's move on to the next option so the next option we shall be looking at this morning is the u.s tech and first of all we want to see what our expectation was during the live session yesterday and what has actually been happening in this market so right now this is the structure we have here on the one hour time frame and the first thing we observed during the early hours of the week is that price action has been caught within a channel right within the twelve thousand five hundred dollar level we had the twelve thousand five hundred was a resistant point for that channel and then we had the support level for the channel sitting around the twelve thousand five hundred level and remember during the live session yesterday we said we are going to be joining uh, waiting for a signal which might likely come in the form of either a breakout or breakdown of that channel to give us um, an informed decision of where price action will be going and with the look of things here um, since the last 24 hours we saw the breakdown of that 12,500 which triggered our sell position and in fact we had multiple rejection of this level um, in the last 24 hours to signal a possible bearish move however we moved our stop loss accordingly and currently price action has taken us out of that position as price action is currently trading above the 25 12,500 level and one thing about this current structure that calls my attention is the fact that if you notice what has been happening here in the last 24 hours and look at somewhere within the 12,400 and the 12,450 level you can see that we have been witnessing some buy pressure around this area negating all attempts for from the sellers to push price to the downside and if you will agree with me this kind of situation tells us that we have a strong buying niche around that area and to clarify this it's appropriate that we identify that level by calling it probably a temporary demand zone in the meantime and for the sake of this let's label it with demand zone here um as you can see price has continued to reject that level 
in the last 24 hours. So we have a temporary demand zone now sitting around the 12,400 and the 12,440 level in the last 24 hours. Now that price action had continued to find higher heights, and if we look further by zooming out, you will notice that we have that divergent trend line, which we identified yesterday. I think I will have to scale up to the four hours time frame so that we can see this clearly. So back to the four hours time frame. So this is it on the four hours time frame here. And remember, at the beginning of this year, we noticed this bullish trend line, which has been holding bullish momentum since the beginning of the year. So we had a bullish trend line there. Then we had a deviation from that trend line, which started on the 28th of January. So we had this temporary bullish trend line, which um, has this deviation here. Now, when we scale back down to the one hour time frame, you will see how that trend line how price action that demand zone falls within that trend line here to further emphasize that buyers might likely come in at this point respecting that bullish trend line one more time to push price to the upside so in as much as we're looking forward to selling opportunities here we cannot ignore the possibilities that buyers might likely come in at this point so in order for us to position ourselves in such a way that we can catch that bullish move when it finally happens, we shall be looking forward to buying opportunity right above the 12,550 level if we do have a breakout retest of that structure. So we are looking forward to buying opportunity above the 12,500 at this point as we want to be sure that this bullish trend line is strong enough. So we are not buying yet until price action breaks out of that $12,550 level. So this is what we are going to be looking forward to to buy the US tech. So we continue to look forward to price above the $12,550 level to give us an opportunity to buy. And then for selling opportunities here, I will still consider that we wait for this temporary demand zone to be broken to the downside, followed by selling pressure below that structure. Then we could join that decline to the downside so these are my views here on the us tech so it's a simple setup we have here so for buying opportunity we have the twelve thousand five hundred dollar level which is the resistance point for this week as you can see since the beginning of the week we have been witnessing sudden pressure around that area so we need to see a beautiful confirmation which might likely come in the form of a breakout of that structure to give us an opportunity to buy the us tech however if price does not go that far instead it continues to find lower lows then uh, below the twelve thousand five hundred dollar level and if you need more confirmation let's wait for the further breakdown of that temporary zone around the twelve thousand four hundred level to join that decline to the downside so this is what we shall be looking forward to for today if you have any questions feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section of this video so with that being said, we shall be moving on to the next pair. So the next pair we shall be looking at this morning is the JPP USD. And in fact, on the JPP USD, remember yesterday we had a sell position triggered right below the 1.20300 level and uh, let's quickly run through what our expectation was as at yesterday so this is what we saw here um during the live session yesterday we saw the situation here where price action was caught within the channel where the resistance point sits at the 1.20650 level so that was the resistance point and then we had the support level sitting around the 1.20300 level and in fact because of the situation we had here we said we are going to be looking forward to a signal which is definitely going to be coming in the form of a breakout of either a breakout of the 1.20650 to give us an opportunity to buy or a breakdown of the 1.20300 level for an opportunity to sell <coughs> And in fact, during the live session yesterday, we saw the breakdown of that structure. 
at the, during the New York session yesterday, we saw the breakdown of that structure. Price action come to retest the structure, and we, as you can see, since the early hours of today, price action has been trading below the 1.20300 level. Now, for those who are already in this sell position at this point, uh, let's see how far this is going to go. Kudos to you for being on standby to catch that move. And I will suggest you move your stop loss right now to break even or probably move it to around the 1.20400. So that will be giving us a stop loss of about... Um, um, about 10 pips they are about on this one and now we continue to look out for more opportunities to join this bearish momentum if price action breaks down the 1.200 level to the downside so we should be welcoming additional position in that regard well before i close the gap usd and for the sake of those who are not part of the live session yesterday i would like us to quickly have a holistic view of what is going on on the daily time frame so that you can have a better understanding into why we were selling the gbp usd and if we scale up into the daily time frame here this is what we saw at the beginning of the week we saw the situation here and we were able to identify a couple of structures which we said was a key determinant of price action and one of the structure is the 1.24500 level which has been a major determinant of price action in the last seven to eight months and as you can see here since the month of may stroke june last year since the breakdown of the structure price has been trading below that level to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point now in the last three to four weeks here on the ujvp usd though we've been enjoying a bullish momentum since the beginning of the year we saw that price as soon as price got into the 1.24500 level we have been witnessing selling pressure around that area to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point and in fact we were part of the sell position here as we took advantage of the sell move to the downside and following the nfp result last week we we sold the breakdown of that bullish trend line which is the first time price action has broken down that bullish trend line in the last three to four months now and with the breakdown of the of that trend line which also shares a confluence with the 1.22500 level we said we shall be looking forward to either buying had the 1.200 level if we see buying pressure around that area with the hopes that price will do a retest of structure to incite another wave of bearish momentum or we could be joining a trend continuation pattern if we so identify something like a bearish rectangular pattern around that area then we will be joining it to the downside so that is why we had that situation on the one hour time frame so what we saw around the 1.200 level on the one hour time frame and in fact since the beginning of the week was that price action was caught within the flat channel around that area to give us a clue that there is an indecision and hence we waited for a breakout or breakdown of that channel to give us an opportunity to sell and if we scale back down to the one hour time frame you will see that price action um broke down that channel which we identify right around that area to signal a possible bearish momentum for this week so at this point in time we're already in a sell position which is triggered already so we are looking forward to adding more position had the breakdown retest of the structure so in as much as we are looking forward to selling opportunities here we should also take into consideration um, the possibilities that buyers might come in at this point and if buyers are going to be coming in what do we want to be seeing for us to negate this current bearish bias that we have on the GBP USD uh, in order to help us do that I was able to identify two structures here and one of them is the 1.20400 level here which has been a strong buying niche at one point during the beginning of this week here uh, you can see an attempt by buyers here and in addition to that is this trend line after connecting the series of lower highs since the beginning of this week so if a bullish momentum is likely going to be coming in here which will definitely be a counter trend opportunity of course as you know we are on long-term bearish momentum 
what we want to be seen to buy the GBP USD is to see an outright breakout of both the 1.20400 level and the trend line there to give us a signal of where price action will be going. And in fact, we don't want to jump into a trade at this point. Remember, it's a very bearish structure. So we need further confirmation for this bullish expectation to be valid so we want to see price action do a retest of the 1.20400 level which also shares a confluence with that bullish trend line then we look out for buying pressure above this level then we could actually join that bullish momentum and if a further breakout of the 1.20650 level happens then we want to be adding more position at the breakout retest of that structure then further breakout of the 1.2100 level will be welcoming additional position. However, I don't think this is going to be happening. I'm still holding on to my bearish buyers. But if it so happens, we want to be so dynamic that we are ready to take advantage of that move. So that is that on the GPP USD. If you have any questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section as usual. I will be willing to be of help in that regard if I see any questions and feel free to munch my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you are about to make your individual decision during the New York session today. So with that being said, we shall be moving on to the next pair and the next pair we are looking at this morning is the XAU USD and that is the gold and on the gold what was our expectations yesterday so we had a situation here a very interesting situation here during the live session yesterday where we were able to identify a structure where price action has been consolidating between the 1880 level which is the resistant point for this week that is the highest price that's the highest point price action has ever been for this week and then we also have the support level which is the key level we identified on the daily time frame which is serving as the support level for that channel and in fact to make things easier yesterday i told you that are we going to be waiting for price action to break down the 1860 first of all before we join the bearish momentum and in fact if we are going to be waiting for that move to happen that means we are going to be missing out from this 1500 pips move so in order to catch this sell position very early we were able to scale down to the 15 minutes time frame where we identified this 1875 level which has been holding sudden pressure um since the beginning of this week Week. as you can see after the retest of the 1880 here price action broke down the 1875 do some couple of retests of that structure to push price to the downside and in fact during the course of this early session today we saw that price has come back into the 1875 resuming with another selling pressure around that area to further emphasize our sellers are strong at this level so we have decided to sell below the 1875 which we already have a trade running at this point though it's not that significant right now the profit is just about let's see about 20 20 pips in profit at this point which is not that significant so we continue to look forward to see how price action will play out on this one and during the live session yesterday we identified this trend line which appear to have been broken right now and at this point i'm becoming very doubtful of the sell position that we are in right now so we might see the sell position run through and if it does well we are good to go as we look forward to adding more position right below the 1860 level to further join that decline to the downside however considering the bullish momentum we have been witnessing right above the 1860 since the beginning of this week we might likely see a situation where price breaks out of the 1880 level so if it so happens that price action breaks out of the 1880 we want to be getting ready for a counter trend opportunity with the hopes that we will continue to ride price action using the structures here as a yardstick for um securing our 
positions and at the same time looking out for opportunities to sell if price action forms a reversal pattern around that area so we have the 1925 and the 1900 area where we might be seeing sudden pressure if it so happens that price action breaks out of the 1880 level so let's keep it this in mind while if we have a breakout of the 1880 let's keep this in mind as we continue to look out for selling opportunities around either the 1900 or the 1925 now talking about the importance of the 1860 here which i said earlier and for the sake of those who are not part of the live session yesterday let's quickly run through the daily time frame so that you can see things more clearly and why we have decided to make that level a important structure to guide trading activity for this week now going back into the daily time frame this is what we have here on the daily time frame and the first thing you would first thing you would observe here in the last three to four months is the fact that price action has been bullish and as a result of this we were able to connect the series of higher lows here which has given us this result and bullish trend line and in fact since the beginning of the year price action finally did a breakout of that significant supply zone which has been holding sudden pressure for over six months we saw the breakout happened this year had the breakout of the 1800 stroke the 1820 level and since then price action has continued to find higher highs breaking out structures like the 1860 level and the 1900 area and in fact as soon as price broke out of the 1900 we saw a situation where price was caught within a channel between the 1900 and the 1950 to emphasize the indecision in that market and as you can see how the 1950 has been negating all bullish attempt at this point and we were lucky enough to position ourselves in such a way that we could catch this move that moved price back into this 1860 level that was broken um, during the first week of the month of january and one thing about that 1860 is the fact that it shares a beautiful confluence with that bullish trend line that has been holding bullish momentum in the last four months and that bullish trend has been so strong that at no point in time price action has broken down that structure at least this year it has not broken down that structure and if it so happens that price action breaks down that structure this week then it's going to be a huge move to the downside from that level so you will agree with me that we are at a critical point in this market right now as price action is currently trading right around the 1860 and the bullish trend line at this point where the possibility of a bullish momentum is very likely as price action could respect that bullish trend line one more time to incite another bullish move to the upside and it could so happen that we could have a trend continuation pattern around here which might likely lead to the breakdown of the 1860 to incite another wave of bearish momentum to the downside so these are the things we are looking forward to for this week and that is why we have that 1860 which is still serving as the support level for this week as price is yet to break down that structure since the beginning of this week so if we scale back down to our one hour time frame to look at what is really happening around there this is what we were able to see and we are still hoping that price action will break down that structure to give us a trend continuation pattern so you can see we have this impulsive move to the downside since last week and since price tested the 1860 we have seen a consolidation phase which appears to be transitioning into a trend continuation pattern where a breakdown retest will be a beautiful opportunity to add more position and go full force on the XAUSD for this week so we are still anticipating that and remember we have a macroeconomic event coming up today uh, which i told you is coming up in um let's see it's coming up in five six hours from now so we want to be seeing how the participants in this market will be anticipating this event and we already seen that as we can see this consolidation phase here in the last 24 hours so a breakout of this consolidation phase will be a beautiful signal 
to give us an information of where price action will likely be going for today so let's keep this in mind screenshot my screen so that you can use it as a reference point so let me recap this again we are looking for buy opportunity at the breakout of the 1880 and we are already in the sell position which i told you as long as price remain below the 1875 we continue to remain comfortable in our sell position and a further breakdown of the 1860 will be a beautiful signal for us to add more position to our existing sell trade on the XAU USD. If you have any questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section. So I will be moving on to the last pair for the week and this is the USD JPY which we took advantage of yesterday. Remember, we had the situation running on the um, during our live session this is what we saw during the live session yesterday um, remember we identified a channel which was between the 131 200 as you saw this huge engulfing candle and as soon as price got into the 132.350 level we saw our selling pressure came in from that structure and this selling pressure came into the 131.600 and because of the continued buy pressure here which lasted about six hours it was a good sign that we might likely be having a bullish momentum from that level so we position ourselves in such a way that we can catch that move above the 131.900 remember i told you we are going to be buying above the structure we, that I, I bought above the structure and price moved significantly well in our favor and i told you i told those who had missed out on this opportunity yesterday that we want to be waiting for a breakout of the 132.2350 level retest of that structure for an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and in fact this is exactly what happened during the new york session yesterday we saw the breakout retest of the 132.350 level and price action continued to the upside and in fact it moved about let's see about 60 pips in our favor before this bearish momentum took us out of that position and i hope you moved your stop loss accordingly as soon as price got into the 132.900 level and for me we joined right around this area had price moved about 100 pips before this bearish momentum happened now that we are going into the new york session today what is going to be our plan well if we look at the current structure that we have here the first thing i did was to identify the higher lows which gave me this bullish trend line that you can see on your screen right now and one thing about the trend line is that um, three hours ago we saw the significant breakdown of that trend line to incite a bearish signal well at this point I will not be jumping into a bearish momentum yet considering the fact that we have a buy pressure zone which falls within the 131.600 level and the 131.900 area and remember this is where we bought at the beginning of the week price action is back to our entry zone here and i'm of the opinion that buying around this area still looks very very promising with the hopes that we should be adding more position if price action breaks out of the 132.350 level respecting that bullish trend line one more time by doing a retest of structure then we could be adding more position to our existing trade and if a further breakout of the 132.900 level happens we want to be adding more position to our existing trade so this setup here has multiple possibilities of having multiple entries on the usd jpy as long as price continues to find higher highs however since price has broken down that bullish trend line we cannot ignore the possibility that sellers might likely come in at this point and if that is going to be happening i want to be seeing um, a take out of all the buy positions here to give me a bearish signal and this might likely come in the form of a breakdown of the 131.600 taking me out of my previous buy position here to signal some selling pressure below the structure then we could be looking forward to adding more position to our existing trade to the downside and if price action continues in such a way that it breaks down the support level which we identified here at the beginning of the week which is somewhere around the 131.00 level 
then we look forward to adding more position at the site of selling pressure below that structure remember the 131.00 level has been a strong selling niche in the past here and for the sake of clarity let's quickly run through the four hours time frame so that you can see what i'm talking about here so if we zoom out on the four hours time frame here this is what has been happening here in the last um, three month three four month here the um, we saw this buy zone here in the month of december and we saw the final breakdown of that buy zone here at the 131.00 level and since the breakdown happened during the second week of january we saw that price has continued to trade below the 131.00 level to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point however the beginning of this week saw a situation where we saw a significant break out of the 131.00 level price action taking out all the sell positions here to give us a beautiful bullish signal and because of the fact that price action remains above the supply zone here i am of the opinion that as long as price remain above the structure we want to feel comfortable in our buy position with the hope that price action will continue to find higher highs but if it so happens that price action breaks down the 1316 Point zero zero level which i identified earlier on our one hour time frame for the breaking down the 131.200 i would likely see this as a retracement of that previous impulse leg that started last week and if this is going to be the case we want to be positioning ourselves at the culmination of that retracement phase in anticipation of another wave of bullish momentum so if this is going to be the case where will our buy post buy zone be in that regard so what we are going to be doing to identify that buy zone is to use our fibonacci retracement tool where we shall be identifying the um, golden zone area which is normally between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of the previous impulse leg and if we draw that accordingly we should be having something like this so we have a potential tp target for sellers tip it target for sellers and um, we should be having that same area as a potential buy zone if price comes into that zone so um, let's give this a green color and the box a yellow color as usual for the sake of clarity then we delete the retracement to as is no longer needed so if this breakdown of the 131.600 happens during the new york session today then we look for selling pressure we had more position at the breakdown of the 131.200 remember this area is a strong supply zone so if a breakdown of that level happens i it's a very good sign that sellers have come back into this market then if price continues to the downside we want to be having our tp target right within the 130.500 and the 129 point zero zero level which will be giving us um how many pips can that be giving us that's like a minimum of 300 pips and a maximum of about 250 pips to catch here if price drops further to the downside so if price gets into the structure and then we shall be looking out for um reversal patterns here to join a potential rally to the upside so this is what we shall be looking forward to around this area that is if price action breaks down the 131.600 level now going back to our one hour time frame i told you that we are in a temporary demand zone at this point as price action continues to trade between the 131.900 and the 132.00 level and i told you that i already have a buy position right above the structure you could join this position at this point and if price continues to the upside ensure you move your stop loss accordingly to lock in some profit and a further break out of the 132.350 level will be welcoming additional position to this trade and a further breakout of the 132.900 be looking out to add more position to our existing trade so this is what we shall be looking forward to on the usd jpy i hope you munch my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you are about to make your individual decision so with that being said here we shall be calling it a day but before we do and for the sake of those who are not part of the beginning of this live session uh let's quickly do a recap of what our expectations are for today 
So the first commodity we looked at today was the U.S. oil. And in fact, the U.S. oil has been very profitable for us since the beginning of the week as we were able to take advantage of this buy position at the breakout of the 74.20 cent level. And currently, we, for those who are taking advantage of this move, we, we are currently running with about 170 pips in profit. And I told you how important the current structure is right now after taking into consideration this bearish bearish trend line that has been holding certain pressure um since last week so we have this bearish trend line figured out here after connecting the series of lower highs since last week and price action is currently trading below that trend line which also shares a beautiful confluence with that 76 dollar 20 cent level and we might likely have a situation where price will respect that bearish trend line one more time to incite a bearish momentum so i have told those who are already in this trade this buy position we took advantage of yesterday that you should be moving your stop loss to some we're right around the $75.30 level to lock in some profit here to see how price action will be reacting to the $76.20 level. So if a breakout of the $76.20 level happens, it is a very beautiful opportunity for us to add more position. However, if we take into consideration this bearish trend line and the fact that we have been witnessing selling pressure from below that structure in the last three to four hours now, I'm of the opinion that we could sell we could join a sell position only if price action breaks down the $75.50 level followed by selling pressure below the structure in our lower time frame then we could join that decline to the downside now there is a catch to this current structure which I laid emphasis on during the live session and that is the $75 level which also shares a confluence with this temporary bullish trend line that has been guiding bullish momentum since the beginning of this year sorry of this week rather and one thing i said is that if price drops below the 75 dollar 50 cent level and continues and test the 75 dollar area i've told you to move your stop loss accordingly lock in some profit and let's wait out to see how price action reacts to this level to decide if we are going to be adding more sell position or we shall be getting ready to join another wave of bullish momentum so we could see uh, by pressure above this level to incite another wave to the upside or price could break down that structure with selling pressure below the structure to welcome additional position to the existing trade so let's keep this in mind while we continue to monitor price action then we went on to talk about the u.s tech for today which um as you can see price has been caught within a price was initially caught within a channel between the 12,550 and the 12,500 dollar level where we sold the breakdown of that 12,500 we were taken out at break even as price action came back to our entry point but one interesting thing about this structure is the fact that price action has been re rejecting the 12,440 and the 12,400 area to give us some buy pressure around this area and at the same time it also shares a confluence with this bullish trend line that we have here so i have said if we are considering this buy pressure here we might likely have a situation where price will continue to the upside and if that is going to be, be the case we shall be positioning ourselves in such a way that we can catch that move at the breakout of the 12,550 to the upside so we are buying the us tech if price action breaks out retails the 12,550 level however if um, price continue to trade below the 12,500, I am of the opinion that we should wait for price action to break down this temporary demand zone, which has been rejecting all sellers' attempt, retest of structure, then we could actually join that decline to the downside. So these are the views here on the US tech. Then we went on to talk about the GBP USD for today, where we already have a sell position triggered and the sell second position too has been triggered right below the 1.200 level. So my advice is you move your stop loss accordingly, lock in some profit somewhere around the 1.20300 level and let's see how far this bearish momentum will go then we went on to talk about the xau usd on this one we already have a sell position triggered at the 
25 level we continue to monitor price action here and we are waiting we are anticipating a further breakdown of the 1860 level where we want to be adding more position to our existing trade on the xau usd then we went on to close the day with the USD JPY, where we already have a buy position running. I told you that we could buy above the 131.900 after taking into consideration how this level has been a demand zone since the beginning of this week. So we continue to look forward to higher highs here. And if it so happens, price action breaks out of the 132.350 and the 132.900 level, we want to be adding more position to our existing trade. Now, for the USD JPY, I told you how we shouldn't ignore the possibilities of sellers coming in, which might likely be a retracement of that previous impulse leg that started last week. So if we are going to be seeing a retracement phase here, I have identified the structure at the 13161. 131.600 level as an area we want to be looking out for selling pressure to join that decline to the downside and if a further breakdown of the 131.200 level happens we want to be adding more position to our existing trade and i told you how the 131.200 and the 131 area has been a strong selling niche if a breakdown retest of that structure happens kindly add more position to your existing trade so we have a tippy target for any sell position here that is if price action breaks down the 131.600 level we have a tp target sitting between the 130.500 and the 129.00 level an area where i said we want to be anticipating some buy pressure around this area to join the second wave of that bullish momentum so this is going to be considered if price action breaks down the 131.600 level if that does not happen then we continue to guide our bullish momentum to the upside looking for further breakout of the 132.350 level to add more position to our existing trade so these are my views here for today i hope i was able to simulate all the possible scenarios that might likely happen during the new york session today on all of the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week remember not to get too excited at the breakout of a structure as the breakout is only a signal immediately you identify a breakout kindly scale down to your lower time frame like your 10 minutes 5 minutes 3 minutes time frame look out for retest of structure supporting the um the direction of the breakout then you could actually see that as a confirmation to join that direction i wish you best of luck today and i hope to see you same time tomorrow 10 a.m utc 11 a.m west african time where we shall be coming back here again to review how well all these pairs that we have been monitoring has been doing so far and at the same time get ready for the new york session tomorrow do have a wonderful evening bye bye <laughs>